Hey crew, today's video will be shrimp and grits. And here are the ingredients we'll be using. We have red onion, green onion, unsalted butter, bacon, salt, Thomas Sassery's no salt, black pepper, grits, milk, triple cheddar cheese. We have mini chocolate peppers. And we have our shrimp. If you'd like to see this full video, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like and comment on the video. Let's get into our shrimp and grits video. All right, crew, so we're gonna get our liquid started for our grits. And we're only gonna do a half a cup of grits, so I'm gonna go in with two and one fourth cup of liquids. And if you wanna do a full cup of grits, you will go in with four cups of liquid. And if y'all don't know, if you want your grits creamy and thick, you can either add half and half milk or heavy whipping cream. So this is what I will be using for my grits. One cup of water. One and one fourth cup of milk. Alright crew, so we're going to go with our grits, a half a cup of grits, and you want to constantly stir this, you just want to make sure that you got everything incorporated real good. One thing about grits, it will give you a workout. You gotta make sure that you whip the game proper. And once it's starting to thicken up, if you feel like you need to add more liquid, you can go back in with a little water or milk, whatever you choose to. And I don't care what nobody say. If anybody make you five mini grits, don't eat them. Ain't no such thing as five mini grits. Even with instant grits, you gotta cook them longer than five minutes if you don't want them to be grainy. All right, crew, so we're gonna turn it down and put the top on it and let them cook low and slow. We're gonna put it on a low simmer. All right, crew, so we're gonna take on our grits. This is what you want right here. They thick and creamy already. Y'all notice I didn't add any seasoning into my grits yet. So we're gonna go in with a little bit of season. And they're your grits, so season them how you like them. I'm just laying out the blueprint how to make shrimp and grits. Hey, some people like sugar in their grits. Here, this household like sugar in their grits. But me, you know, being from Georgia, I don't like sugar in my grits, but I will eat them. I don't discriminate, but I prefer salt, pepper, butter, and some cheese. In the comment section below, let us know how you like your grits. Do you like it with salt and pepper and butter and cheese, or do you like it with sugar? Look how thick those are. Ooh. So I'm gonna put the top back on these and continue to let these simmer away. All right, crew, so our grits have cooked for like 45 minutes. And you can cook your grits however long you want to, but like I said, we don't want grainy grits. So now, I'm gonna go in with my unsalted butter and my cheese. I'm gonna go in with two tablespoons of butter and 
one cup of our cheese. The grits creamy and thick and cheesy. Get your grits on turn out like that. Miss me. So we're going to cut up some vegetables for our shrimp when we get ready to saute them down. We're going to cut our peppers up. We're going to thinly slice them. We're going to cut up a little bit of this purple onion. We don't want too much. And we're just going to give it a rough chop. Ah! I'm joking. <laughs> So that's our peppers and our red onion when we get ready to saute our shrimp. So we're going to season our shrimp with salt, black pepper, and no salt Tony Sasseries. You can season your shrimp how you want to. Um, but if you like to go the route that I took with the salt, black pepper, and Tony Sasseries, Creole season, no salt. Um, I went in probably with a half a tablespoon to three-fourths of a tablespoon of each seasoning. All right, crew, so if y'all hear anything in the background, that is the air fryer. here. I'm cooking the bacon in there because I didn't want to cook it on top of the stove. So we're going to move on to our sauce for our shrimp. One stick of unsalted butter. All right, Chris, so our butter has met We're gonna go in with our chocolate bell pepper and red onion. And I know some people may say, hey, that don't go with shrimp and grits, but hey, this is my take on shrimp and grits. There's no wrong way and there's no right way. It's all about building flavors and making it your own. That's the best thing about cooking. When you can make it your own, can't nobody tell you nothing. And if your people love it, that's the only thing that matters, you know? Don't nobody else gotta love it. As long as you can eat it, your family can eat it, they like it. Hey, go on about your business. Don't worry about what anybody say about your food. So I'm going to allow these to saute down for like a minute or so, maybe three minutes max, then I'll add our shrimp. All right, crew, so our vegetables have been sauteing down. We're going to go in with our shrimp. And these don't take long to cook. Alright cool, if y'all see that they start to turn color a little bit, so we're going to flip them. And you don't want to cook them no more than three minutes a side. All right, crew, so our shrimp are done. We're gonna turn the eye off and take it off. And we're gonna move that to the side. Look at that. That's y'all close up. That's y'all close up right there. Get it in there. 
Mm-hmm. Look at that. All right, Kusa, we're about to make this bowl of shrimp and grits. Let's get to it. Show y'all these grits up close. That's how you want your grits. And they don't, see, they don't stick to the bottom. You know you can cook some grits when you got it like that. So we're simply just going to place our grits in the bowl. That's our shrimp. We have our bacon here. Now we're going to finish it off with a little bit of green onion. All right, crew, here's our famous close-up of our shrimp and grits. All right, crew, so I'm about to give it a taste test. Queen don't like shrimp and grits, so hey, y'all stuck with me. I'm the one cooked it, so I'm gonna eat it. I want a little bit of everything. Hey, don't trip about my plastic spoon, y'all. It ain't big enough. Give y'all the first bite. Y'all see that? Get a little closer. Ooh. Mm. This A1, y'all. Mm. Scale one to ten. Mm. It's off the scale. We. Mm mm mm. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and comment on the video. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Y'all already know the saying. Hops out. Peace.